Okay, in this video I'd like to continue on with my tutorials on vector calculus for electromagnetism. This is video number 10 and I'm going to discuss the Nambla operator part 2. I'd like to draw your attention to my website universityphysicstutorials.com. So the previous video to this is number 6 where I just introduced the Nambla operator. And in this video I just basically want to summarize that and get us ready for using it. So we saw that the, we'll say the, the uh, Nambla operator acting on a function a can be defined in the following way. This is it acting on a function, or we it can be written in, in it can be written in the following way, and we call this the gradient. Okay, so that's that's the that's the gradient. So, if you think about an ordinary vector, let's say a, well, there are three things which you can do with it, and the three things are you can take this the vector a. You can first of all multiply it by a scalar, namely small a, and get that. You can multiply it by a vector and take the scalar product, we'll say a dot b, or you can take the vector product or the cross product, and we call that a cross b. Okay? Correspondingly, there are three ways the operator, the Nabla operator, can act. So the three ways the Nabla operator can act are as follows. It can it can act on a, on a scalar. Uh, let's say capital T on a vector let's say capital T vector and on a vector let's say capital T again now there, of course wh wh how can it do it? Well, on the scalar function it just becomes the gradient so you're just going to get the gradient of T noting of course the gradient will always give you back a vector you can also act on a vector using the dot product. The, we'll say the dot or the scalar product. And that's going to give us back a scalar. So you're going to get the, the Nabla operator dotted with T, and that gives us a scalar. And you can take the cross product. So that's going to be the Nabla cross product of width, well, let's say T, the vector, and that gives us a vector back. Okay, now for reasons, um, for reasons that might become clear later on, we call this the grad or the gradient, we call this the divergence or the div, and we call this the curl, grad div curl. So that's all I wanted to say in that video. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and visit universityphysicstorial.com. Thanks.